Crystal 2014 is one of our top collection recommendations right now. Not only is it a great champagne in its own right, but it has two very exciting potential short-term price catalysts. Stick around and I'll tell you more. I'm Jeremy Howard, co-founder and CEO of Crew World Wine. I love talking about Cristal Champagne. In fact, the first investment note I ever wrote at Crew was in November 2017, and it was on the Cristal 2009, which had just recently been released. Uh, and I remember that we recommended uh, that wine at a certain price, and uh, we gave a price target which was uh, significantly higher than where it was trading in the market. And we had quite a lot of uh, raised eyebrows, uh, people questioning our judgment. Uh, and now, uh, just over four years later, uh, that uh, Cristal 2009 is trading over 105% higher than where we recommended it uh, back in uh, 2017. So Cristal really performs from an investment perspective. As with all heritage brands, history is key to Louis Roderer and Cristal Champagne. The Louis Roderer house itself was founded in 1776 and was named after a nephew who inherited it in 1833. The first vintage of Cristal wasn't produced until 1876, and as many people know, it was famously made at the behest of the Russian Tsar Nikolai II who demanded a champagne in a clear bottle through which to appreciate the effervescent qualities and colours of the champagne within. Today, Cristal is a blend of 40% Chardonnay and 60% Pinot Noir, sourced from 45 different plots across seven Grand Cru vineyards. And of course, it's only made in the most exceptional years. So that brings us to Cristal 2014, the most recent vintage to be released by Louis Roderer. We like this wine from a collection perspective for a number of different reasons. Firstly, anyone who's followed our research for the last few years knows how important champagne is as a collection theme. In fact, over the last two years, Champagne has been the single best performing fine wine region, outpacing even Burgundy in performance. The 2014 Champagne Vintage is rated outstanding by Robert Parker's wine advocate. In fact, the 2014 Vintage scores only one point below the now legendary 2002 Vintage. The Cristal 2002 is trading almost 100% higher in price than the Cristal 2014. In fact, the Cristal 2014 is the cheapest vintage of any Cristal on the market right now. And it's actually cheapest of all in Hong Kong. And this is where we think collectors should be focusing their attention right now. So we've established that Cristal 2014 is a great champagne from an outstanding vintage, and it's the cheapest available on the market at the moment. But why now? What are the price catalysts to get it to move upwards in price? Well, we think there are two. The first is that early in this summer, Louis Roderer will move from the 2014 to the 2015 vintage. That means they'll stop supplying new inventory of the 2014. And really, it goes almost like a light switch overnight. So suddenly, there'll be no more primary supply of the 2014. And in our experience, this roll, as we call it, from an old vintage to a newer one, usually has the effect of significantly tightening the market on the older vintage. Of course, the second driver, the second catalyst for price appreciation of all champagnes, but especially those at the top end of the market, is the Chinese and Hong Kong reopening. After three years of lockdown, it seems inconceivable that we're not going to see a wave of demand for the kind of activities that people have not really been able to do for three years. And we're talking about, what, 1.4 billion people here. So our Hong Kong office, uh, our trading desk in Hong Kong are already fielding calls uh, and emails from on-trade clients we haven't heard from for months or years uh, looking to restock. Uh, and it seems inconceivable to us that uh, a wine like Cristal 2014 won't be a direct beneficiary of this uh, reopening. So the case for Cristal 2014 is pretty compelling. 
Uh, it's a great champagne with some very important short-term price catalysts to move the price up. Generally in fine wine, you don't go too far wrong buying the most re recent and cheapest vintage of Cristal anyway. But I think in this case, there are some particular reasons to look at the 2014. And if you're able to, we would specifically direct your attention to the landed stock in Hong Kong. For various reasons that are related to the pandemic, the inventory which is in that market is actually priced below global prices. So if you're able to, that would be the place to uh, try to exploit this uh, inefficiency and opportunity. Thank you so much for watching. We'll leave some comments as usual in the uh, description below on where you can find more information. And uh, we'll catch you next time.